Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Alex here with you again. Welcome back. Yet another chess video. This one's pretty exciting. I did get another chess set. Actually, I got this one a couple of weeks ago, but it was just that I didn't really have the time to make this video. And so here we are. I've got a little bit of time to, to make this video, so I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible and yet still be able to show you guys the details. As you could probably see right over here, there's still some birthday decorations. So my birthday was two days ago. Unfortunately, I had to work on my birthday and so did my wife. But afterwards, we were still able to, to celebrate my birthday with a, a cake and a presents. So lovely. 300 and something days until my next birthday, so that's something to look forward to. Today we're going to be talking about yet another wooden chess set. This one's going to be from Chess Bazaar. Let me guys give you a little bit of a background as far as how I was able to find this particular chess set and let you guys decide what you think about the quality and how it compares to some of the other ones. As usual, I feel like a lot of times I'm comparing to the Paulson set. You guys have become very familiar with the Paulson set because I use it so much to compare to all the different chess sets that I have. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? This was bought at Chess Bazaar. This is what they call the old English chess set. And it's not that much different from any of the other chess sets, to be honest with you, except for a few things. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. The wood color uh, that this particular set came in as natural boxwood and genuine ebony. When I was ordering this particular set, there was a drop down box that allowed you to select whether you want it in matte finish like this or whether you want it in gloss. Here are the kings. Size wise, they're going to be pretty similar. This old English is a little bit thinner overall, but in the base, it's going to be a little bit broader on the Paulson than it is on this old English. Height wise, they're, they're, they're very, very similar. Although if you look at the Paulson, it, it just it just seems to be a slightly more like robust set. Okay guys, let's take a closer look. Here are the kings, okay? Here's the, uh, here's that old English set. Um, the king has a really kind of a, a, a pretty refined finial you could see right over here. Kind of a little bit different. Let's take a look at how it compares to like a, our usual finials. Here's a finial from the uh, Paulson set. You guys can see it's a little bit more like broad. And then the finial from, from the Old English has this, it has this little point over here, like kind of like a, a sharp point on the very top. And then going down, it has this sort of line in between. I mean, the, the design's still very similar, but it's just, it looks a little bit different. Let me know what you guys think about this particular finial. And then you have the the usual, you know, more or less usual uh, king top here. Almost looks like a queen top where you can see this bulbous area. And then you have this sort of a an edge around it. And then it, it, it goes down to a couple of rings here and a fairly, fairly slender neck and uh, a normal proportional base. If we compare that to the light... King from the pulse and the neck is going to be a little bit thinner here. Not too bad, uh, but just a little bit thinner. Here we can see just a little bit of a thicker neck overall. Overall, like, you know, Old English. If you type in Old English into Google, Old English chess set, you're going to get so many different chess sets that it's just, it's, it's tricky why they would like, I don't know why they would decide to call something Old English. It's, it's kind of like calling it a good chess set or maybe calling it like popular chess pieces, you know, it's just such a ubiquitous name. I mean, the Paulson is at least Paulson is 1852 Paulson. And if you look at other 1852 Paulsons, they're not, maybe they're not going to be exactly the same, but hopefully they're going to be kind of closer to the, the overall shape of them. But old English, it's like co-figure. So this is the old English from chess bazaar. If there's old English, other ones, then, you know, they might look different. As far as weight, the Dark King weighs in at 125 for the Paulson, as we've already established that in some of the other videos, and then for 94 for this Old English. So a little bit of a difference. And then 117 for the light one, and 94 again for the Old English. So. Not as, you know, not as heavy as the Paulson, but still pretty, 
pretty up there, you know, and an overall very, very solid set. On the bottom of these, it's not the Camerata collection, so we just see a regular, regular uh, felt on the bottom. It doesn't, it doesn't cover the entire bottom of the piece, as you would see here, but it still covers what you need it to cover overall. Here's the queens. I mean, if you look at the queens, it's kind of really... It's hard to tell apart which queen belongs to which set, to be honest with you. The Old English is a little bit taller right over here. They're just, they're just that much taller as you could probably tell in the video. The taller queens that you see here are from the Old English, and then the shorter, slightly shorter ones are from the Paulson set. Um, Shape-wise, they're, they're all pretty similar overall. Looks-wise, I mean, not a whole lot different. Not a whole lot different, just just a little bit taller. A few more rings over here on top. This one has like this one single ring and then followed by a few very minor ones, whereas this particular set has more rings, more consecutive rings here. And then a few more rings on the bottom, kind of making that base a little bit taller. The Paulson still a little bit, a little bit more like wide overall. As far as the weight, the Paulson dark one is at 88 and then 71 so so a little bit lighter a little bit lighter overall on this one 97 on the light one and i'm guessing gonna be somewhere in the 80 80 for the light one here so a few grams lighter for the old english than it is for you know but you can't really tell a whole lot like when you're picking up these pieces it's hard to tell, honestly. It's a few grams may make a difference. I mean, if, if you're talking about like 30 grams, you would definitely tell a difference. Like the, the difference between a plastic one and a, like a Paulson one, yeah, definitely when you pick them up, it's like, whoa, you know. But this one, once again, if we compare the bottoms, this one's gonna be covering the entire, the entire, you know, bottom. And this one, this one's almost the entire. But here's the thing, like right over at the edges, it, it kind of, it kind of goes up a little bit. So it would make sense that they wouldn't necessarily need to cover the edges. They're just covering the part that's flat, okay? The bishops here do look a little bit different, okay? The bishops on this old English set are gonna be substantially taller. And the way that this particular bishop is made is you could see it's sort of like 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 very, very sharp, sharp made top. It's not it's not a rounded bishop top where we usually see it most of the sets it's, it's round. Here it's just kind of a very, ch -ch, you know, so a little bit taller. The uh, periphery bishops here, the Paulson, we've seen before countless times. Then these bishops are going to be taller, and this top portion here, as you could see, is very, very uh, geometrically shaped. It's not, it's not nice and round like many of the other bishops. It's sort of like very sharp, kind of a. It's just a design, a, a design decision. The cut is pretty straightforward, pretty simple cut overall. Not a not a large cut. They decided to cut it right right before it splits into going down. So cut it here and then that's it. Just a little bit taller. The same type of rings that we saw on the queens. And pretty much the same type of bases. As far as weight, I could probably say probably similar. Let's take a look. Paulson's at 79, and then this one's at 75. So still Paulson's just a few grams heavier. And then for the light one, 74 for the light one here for the Paulson. Old English is at 63. So it's possible that because the base of the Paulson's just a little bit broader, they're able to put in a, a bigger. A uh, piece of weight in there as far as the the base of the old English is it's a little bit smaller So they can't fit as big of a, a weight in there. What do you guys think about these knights? Huh? These knights are huge. These knights are big. I mean Big as far as are they heavy? Hard to say we'll we'll take a look in a second, but are they not big these knights are huge These are humongous knights I showed this to my wife. She was like, these are some of the biggest knights you've showed me before. And, um, you know, the, the, the amount of detail on these knights is not like super, super fine. 
but you could still see that they've taken the time to, to really sort of cut things out a little bit. The, the way that this particular knight is, is it's sitting on this base, as you could see, and it sort of sort of goes this way before it before it comes back around. As far as holding the knight, I mean, holding it is pretty easy. In fact, because you have so much surface area to grab onto, it seems not to be too difficult to hold it overall. Here's the knights I was telling you guys about. These are some huge knights. Take a look, guys. Take a look at these knights. Look how big they are. I thought my Paulson knights were pretty big. These knights are huge. And then, you know, the, the Paulson ones kind of got a fairly, fairly, like, if you look at it, you know, it's, 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 it's going backwards a little bit, but then it, it straightens out and looks forward. Whereas this one's really like, look, look how far it's leaning back before it comes back. So it's, it's definitely, it, it, it makes it look like the knight's almost a little too big for the base, but, uh, it's weighted so it feels fine. It, it doesn't feel like it wants to topple over or anything like that The top portion of the knight as you could see here is not very refined Because of how big the knight is I guess a lot more detail goes into you know having to refine it The same amount of details on the smaller knight here looks a lot more refined than it does on this big one, but you know, it's Let me let me kind of turn them for you a little bit what do you guys what do you guys think about these knights? As far as weight goes, the light knight here is at 81 grams, and then the light knight here is at 85. So a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier. Let's take a look at the dark ones. 84 for the dark knight and 87 for the dark knight. So almost the same. Given that this one's that much larger, my only explanation for this is gonna be uh, smaller weight on the bottom. These are going to be the old English rooks. I kind of like the old English rooks, their shape, the way that the top portion is. I mean, there's not a whole lot that differentiates rooks in general, but the very top portion, uh, right over here, it kind of, it kind of goes inwards a little bit. And I sort of like that design. I mean, it's not that much different, but it's just, it doesn't go straight up like most of the other rooks. It's got this sort of a, 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 a convergence on the very top, which makes him it makes him kind of look nice. I don't know I, I like him overall for their shape. So here are the rooks in the middle You have the Paulson rooks and on the outside you have the rooks from the old English set You could tell that the 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 Paulson ones are a little bit taller, but not by much and then One of the one of the interesting features here is that that it kind of tapers in a little bit on this particular rook you could see not a whole lot, but you could tell that that tapering is still there. Even the little bit of tapering kind of can make a difference as far as how these rooks look. Other than that, I mean, these rooks are going to be heavier than uh, than the old English, but and they feel heavier. So let's take a look. The light knight is a 90 grams for the pulse and, and only 68 for the uh, for the old English. So a little bit lighter. 83 84 grams for the dark one and 55 55 so definitely the knights are going to be lighter but the knights are smaller the weight in them is smaller so they're just a little bit lighter not terribly lighter but a little bit lighter okay lastly we have the pawns the smaller pawns you see on the periphery right over here are the, is the Paulson, and then the, the slightly, slightly taller, ever so slightly taller knights is the Old English. They are a little bit taller, but the, the top portion here, because of the, uh, because of the lining on the outside, it kind of makes these, these pawns look a little bit, a little bit like the, the top should be a little bit bigger, but I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, I like them overall. The two smaller middle ones are the Paulson pawns, and then the two periphery ones are the old old English. It kind of makes it look because of of the fact that the this area right here is so broad and and thick right over here, and then you got this little ball on top. It almost when you're looking at the pawn, you almost feel like 
they probably should have made the ball a little bit bigger. Just, just a tiny bit bigger than what they did here. Like, the proportionately, like, this one feels like the ball is just the right size for the pawn. This one here feels like, mm, if they made us, like, this ball over here, probably if they made it a little bit bigger, then definitely, okay? But it's it's not bad. It's just that we're we're like used to certain size and we know the proportions and then we see something that's slightly different. And you know, it, it kind of can throw us off for, for a loop. But it's other than that, the pawns, I mean they're they're just fine. Okay. I'm not really sure if I've shown you guys before, but I wanted to show you guys. So this particular pawn, I may have shown this to you in some of the other videos. I was doing some measuring on this pawn and I dropped it on, I think it was linoleum. So when I dropped it from the, this is the Paulson one, right over here on the very top, you could see that there's a little bit of like the scoff mark right on the very top, right here. Hopefully we can get this in focus. You see this guys? So, and then on the bottom, right over here, so this is not major, but right here on the bottom, right over here on the very bottom, you guys see that at the very base? I guess when it hit the floor, it wasn't evident when it hit the floor, but later on, I guess that little piece chipped off. You guys can see that the uh, there was a chip that occurred. Now, this particular chip, though, it's the chip of the of the layer that's on the outside of the pond. So whatever it is that they processed natural boxwood to make it look vintage the way that it does is basically a layer of like shellac or whatever it is. It's some kind of a caked on layer on top of and I hope that you guys can see it that the that the wood underneath of this is very similar to natural boxwood. So even though this particular set looks very vintage and pretty, I just wanted to show you guys that this is what's underneath. It's just normal natural boxwood. So for all of you guys that are interested in like vintage or distressed, they're coated with something. So if, 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 a, if a piece, piece is dropped, you know, it might start to break off. Or if the piece, uh, if the pieces are really old, they might start to break off too. And then you'll get the, the wood underneath of it, you know. It's not, it's not the end of the world if this happens. It's just, this is what's underneath, okay? Just wanted to let you guys know. So let's go ahead and check the weight of these. Paulson Pond is at 32, 32 grams for the dark. And 33, 34 grams for the dark pond here. The uh, light Paulson 32 and 34 grams for the Old English. So Old English is just like a gram or two heavier, which because you could see the bases of, the, of all the ponds are kind of very similar. In fact, the Old English base is just a little bit bigger than the Paulson. So they could fit a slightly bigger weight in there. Here's the interesting thing about this particular set. I got it from Chess Bazaar, from the Imperfect Chess section, okay? I went to Chess Bazaar and I went to their little search line and I typed in Imperfect and just, I haven't been on their Imperfect page, but I just wanted to see what I would find. And when I went to their Imperfect page, it's it was crazy because generally, like I used to get certain things from the Imperfect Chess section from the House of Staunton and House of Staunton, Routinely would have maybe like 12 things on the imperfect page, you know, one board, a couple of boxes, and maybe a few chess sets. Um, whereas the imperfect section of Chess Bazaar had like over 40 different sets, like pieces of different size. And what was interesting is the prices. Some of the prices were as low as like $40 for a wooden chess set. Some prices were as high as maybe 150 to 200, but prices that are relatively low to you know some of the other websites. This particular chess set was in the imperfect section, and uh, when I looked at it closer, one of the things that I did not see, like when you go to House of Staunton and you you find a set in the imperfect section, it will describe to you line by line what exactly is wrong with the set and like 
what things are wrong with it. And they'll take pictures of all the things that is wrong with it. They'll say four of the light ponds are cracked on the base. And they'll actually line them up and they'll take a picture and they'll say, here's the cracks. They'll say, you know, a night is missing or, you know, usually it's not that drastic, but they'll say, you know, maybe uh, a night has a crack. Usually it's cracks. Um, or some, some, in some cases I've seen where they'll say like one of the nights is discolored. It, it does not look like the wood from, you know, the other pieces. So one of the things on the, on the chess bazaar is that in the imperfect section, when I was looking at this particular set, nothing, you know, nothing. They'll say, well, it doesn't meet the standards of a perfect set. That's why there it's imperfect. But so you're thinking, okay, mm, price wise, this was like $83. $83 for a full size. This is like a 4.4 King, like really large set uh, with natural boxwood and genuine ebony, $83. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, that's pretty good. Even if this is a subpar set, um, that's that's really inexpensive. I mean, and that's why I wanted to make this video is I wanted to show you guys like what what why would this particular set would be so much less expensive? There's not a single crack in any of the pieces in this set. There's no cracks. There's no scuffs. You know, it's 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 a relatively good set. But I'll show you guys in detail about some of the things that I guess they would say would make the set imperfect. Okay, so I mean like what exactly about this particular set it makes it imperfect, you know? I don't really know, but like if we look closer, like I don't I'm not really sure. With this, like you, you guys see like maybe right here, maybe. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm trying to I'm trying to basically convince myself that there's something imperfect about this set, but I'm thinking, you know, like little tiny things, like maybe something like this, little scratch marks, perhaps, I'm not sure. Like if you look over here on the on the bottom, maybe if we turn the set or like, like turn it, I don't know, you guys can like, it's like trying to find Waldo. I don't know why, I don't, I don't, I don't really have any particular idea about like why like maybe right here, let's see. If you guys can he see some kind of a yellowing over here. So far I've analyzed all the pieces and I'm thinking, ah, maybe, maybe this. Okay, let's see, ready? Right over here. Right over here, there's some like little dings. So would this be considered imperfect? Do you guys see them on the light? I hope you guys see them reflecting in that light. It's really hard for me to like tell, but it's not like these pieces are damaged or anything, but like there's these small imperfections. So maybe for somebody who's like really looking closely, I mean, I would honestly have a hard time really finding anything particularly wrong with this set. It's, you know, if you wanted really, really high quality, I would probably buy a really expensive set from House of Staunton. And if you really were wanted to get something nice, that's where I would go. But as far as a playable set, this, in my opinion, is well, well worth the 80 something dollars that I paid for it. I think it was like $83 or something, some, somewhere in that range for genuine ebony wood and natural boxwood. Let me know in the comments below. I, I'm, I'm more than interested to, to find out like what you guys think about this particular set, what you think about this huge knight. What do you think about the shape of the bishop? What do you think about it in general? Have you had any experience with Chess Bazaar in, about, you know, purchasing pieces, whether they were in the regular section or whether they were in the imperfect? What did you think about it? Is it something that you enjoy playing with? Or are there any, like, imperfections in it that you don't necessarily like? Let me know. Uh, I'd be glad to read all your comments and reply if, if I can. Uh, once again, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, it's always great to be able to share new things with you. And... Uh, Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, stay tuned until uh, next time. I've got more chess sets coming, so stay tuned and uh, everybody stay safe and see you guys next week, okay? See you later.